It is looking like we're going to get those strong gusty winds through the Cascade passes through the gaps. It's a lot of times in the wintertime. If you remember, we had some of our great wind storms where oh, yeah. the easterlies mm -hmm. came through and brought down trees and oh, Snoqualmie yeah. Pass. That does look like this is one of those situations mm -hmm. where those east winds, it's the first of the year. We're getting them going and they are going to be very blustery by the time we hit 10 o'clock tonight. Our east winds will be 20 to 30 miles an hour gusting anywhere from 40 to 50 miles an hour. And it's very specific where we have these happening. It's mainly right along the foothills of the Cascades. Gaps that stretch from Enumclaw down towards SeaTac, also around North Bend and Snoqualmie. You get very gusty. Snoqualmie Ridge really gets the winds going. Looking here right now at the October record lows. This is for October 29th through the 31st. I just want to show you. We're going to challenge some of these record lows here in the days ahead. Now, granted, 17 degrees in Olympia on October, on October 30th is pretty cold, but it was in 2002. And so I know there's a lot of folks that remember being this chilly around this time of year. Well, that's where we're going to head down to that area tonight. We've got the clear skies for Everett, blue skies, beautiful sunset ahead, looking out across the waterfront. Yes, it's a nice night out there, but it's on the cool side. 51 degrees right now, and we have winds out of the north, nine miles an hour. Winds are out of the north now, but as we go into the evening, we're going to get those switching to easterly. Temperatures right now 47 degrees in Everett and 47 for Friday Harbor. We're going to we're going to watch these drop pretty quickly tonight. Clear and cold. Your temperatures mainly in the 30s as we get closer to that 10 o'clock hour when we, when we know the easterly winds will pick up. Looking at your winds right now, they're coming out of the north and they're relatively light. The wind advisory issued all along the foothills from Eatonville through Enumclaw, across Snoqualmie, Skykomish, all the way up to Darrington. Marysville may even feel some of these easterly gusts coming through the Cascades. You look at the satellite right now and note that northerly direction. We're getting some high clouds drifting down because it's a strong ridge of high pressure that's over us, keeping us dry all week long. It'll keep us some sunshine, but clouds are going to ride by from time to time. So looking at University of Washington high resolution, uh, high resolution model, this is going to show you when the winds are really picking up, mainly out of the north this evening, but they shift to easterly. By the time we hit midnight, the strongest gusts will be through those gaps in the mountains, and this includes the Washington coast around the Olympics. We're going to get those stronger gusts also on the beaches. So do expect those strong winds all the way through the noon hour tomorrow, and they'll really start to ease a little bit, but still stay out of the east. Temperatures tonight, upper 20s to the low 30s. Tomorrow, a high of 48 at SeaTac. It's going to be quite cool indeed. Temperatures mid to upper 40s for our daytime highs in the mountains. Looks like a beautiful shot here. Folks out there enjoying a little bit of snow and the cold weather, but it'll be very cold and sunny tomorrow. The pass highs in the upper 20s at best. So we're going to stay dry all the way through Halloween, all the way into the weekend even when we set our clocks back an hour. We'll just see an increase of cloud cover by uh, a Sunday, but still going to stay on the cool side for this stretch. Okay, Rebecca, thank you.